Leonard Hengerson was a local high school football star who is now playing for the University of Miami, but he didn't reach his potential. But now, as Adam Cooperstein reports, someone from the Miami Dolphins who is a former superstar is helping him out. There you go. Go back. There you go. That's what I like. Yeah. That's a nice route there. If anyone knows a thing or two about nice routes, it's Mark Duper. For 11 years, he ran them religiously for the Miami Dolphins. And now he's sharing that knowledge with Miami Hurricanes receiver Leonard Hankerson. When the DB got on me on the line, let me tell you something, it was a war. I think uh, one of the reasons why that he wants to work with me because he knows that I have been where he's trying to get. Hankerson's uncle is the one who helped him connect with Duper, but at the time, Leonard admitted he didn't really know much about Duper's legendary career. He gave me a DVD of him making making his 64 touchdown in his career in the NFL, and I watch it, and I just see what he, what he, what he, what he has done in the league. I think about it all the time that that's what I want to do, that's what I want to be. I want you to come down here, and I want you to break down, but I want you to take one or two steps. I don't want those three, four, five steps. Well, it's hard to imagine better tutoring for a wide receiver. Before Hankerson started working with Duper this offseason, his position coach in high school here at St. Thomas was NFL great Chris Carter. You got the ability and the skills to be a great receiver. Yep. But you can't be a great receiver if you don't do what? Catch the football. Hankerson's biggest issue at UM has been drops. Ten. Oh, got to go ten more. And that's why he and Duper are concentrating on concentration. I remember when I first started working with him, uh, throwing, the, throwing the, the two baseballs with him. He couldn't catch not one of them. I couldn't get it. And next time he kept working at it, kept working at it. And now I'm catching both of them. Oh, sweet. I just knew he had potential when his hand is like an inch bigger than mine. And if I can catch football with these great hands of Mark Duper, you know, <laughs> I mean, his hand is an inch bigger than these. Uh, he definitely can catch a football. Don't make it easy for him. He just look like it's too damn easy now. You gonna beef up some more too? Yeah. Okay. All right. Love to see the Dolphins and Canes coming together. Now, Duper has worked with Hankerson five or six times this summer, and they plan on keeping it up until the Hurricanes start practice this fall. And if you ask Duper, he thinks Hankerson has NFL potential. Live at the news desk, Adam Cooperstein, South Florida Tonight. Love Super Duper. Tonight, a handful of Florida teachers are receiving much-needed recognition at the annual Macy's Teacher of the Year ceremony in Orlando. Out of thousands across the Sunshine State, five teachers were selected as finalists, which included Miami-Dade's own Patricia Fairclough of Air Base Elementary School. Tampa's Megan Allen was named the winner at the awards gala in Universal Studios. Allen will receive a $10,000 check, $1,000 for new clothes, and a trip to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York City.